We're here at Rally in the Ponds, Salmon, Idaho, and we are on a Bigfoot hunt. There's all kind of stations out here. You come out and do different things at all the stations, and uh, you get all kind of cool stuff. You get t-shirts, stickers, and these guys right here with Razorback Technology have a stand all set up, so we're going to check them out and see what they're all about. Something about the hottest thing on your machine wins. I don't know. That's just what I heard. What's up, guys? <laughs> hey, how are you doing? I'm Justin. Good. I'm Brian. Nice to meet you. Jim. All right, what do we got? What's, this is what's our the deal? infrared belt temperature gauges. It uses an infrared sensor to tell you how hot your belt is. Mm -hmm. So you can see, she's looking pretty good. She's hot. Not I'm so hot. much over there. Oh, he's still hot too. Yep, yep. As we can see, we got a green light here. It turns yellow at, at uh, 200. Anything below 200 is great. You're not losing any belt life. It turns yellow at 200, and then red at 225. It'll start flashing at you, telling you you're just murdering your belt. You need mm -hmm. to let off. You need to make some changes. A lot of people really like using this as a tool to dial in your clutches. If you're having belt problems, you don't have to make changes and then see how long it takes to blow another belt. You can go do a couple pulls down the road and see, are my, are my clutch changes working or not? Yeah. Um, people, a lot of people are putting belt fans on now. You can say, is this actually working? Is it not? Mm -hmm. We can see mods and see how they're working. Um, so this basically tells you though, before your belt's gonna blow. You're gonna know yep. before it grenades. Yep, so what we found over the life of a belt that you generally start running between 40 and 50 degrees hotter on average. This belt keeps track of your average and your high temp. Um, and then right before they blow, they generally jump another 50 degrees. They'll usually be you know, right around 300, high 200s anyways, right before they blow up. And then you'll see it'll be, it'll be totally out of the normal. You'll be 200. And then all of a sudden it's like 280, 290. Yeah. And a lot of people will call us and say, I thought my gauge was broke. And then my belt broke. We said, nope, that's what happens. Right before those belts break, yeah. the temperatures just skyrocket and you won't make it home. So a lot of people, you can stop there and it's a quick belt change. You're not pulling strands out of your clutch. Yeah. Hopefully you didn't do engine damage when your belt broke yeah. or clutch cover damage. Um, we see that a lot with snowmobiles. They People lose their motors, they blow a belt the next ride they lose their motor. They don't correlate the two, but that's what happens. Mm -hmm. When those belts break, all that tension that's stored up in that belt let, releases, and those motors sometimes will hit 15 plus thousand RPMs. Yeah. They way over rev. So Four where do you put your thousand. sensor then on your machine? So we can show you on this yeah. Can-Am over check here. It out. Drill a half inch hole in the clutch cover directly over the belt on these Can-Am X3s. Mm -hmm. if you look kind of in between those two ducts, you can see it right there. It still keeps it all nice and waterproof. And mm -hmm. um, we have it set up with a nice disconnect. Really doesn't apply to the Can-Am but to the Polaris's a lot of people mount them in the covers so it's easier so if you ever do need to pull your clutch cover you can disconnect the sensor so you're not having to fight the cabling in the way yeah. um, and then there's a power and a ground wire that you hook to a key on source so you just put your gauge up here so yep. as you're cruising if your lights yep. green you're good to go they're green to go so a lot of people a lot of the desert race guys like that because they don't have to look at the numbers all they need to do is green light green yeah. light yeah yellow light Red light, I gotta red, slow down. Red I is gotta, bad. I need to see what my numbers are. Yeah, red, red, is, is, bad. red is bad. Red, red is means bad. you're about to blow, huh? You've like got, 300? You've got issues. Well, red's 225. Oh, so okay. you're starting to do damage. So it's one of those, a desert race guy can calculate it. He can say, 225, do I got 300 miles left to go in this race? Or do I have a mile left to go? If I got yeah. a mile left to go, let's just go. Yep. Let's see if we can get finished and win. If he's got 200 miles left to go, hey, let's change it because if I blow this, I can lose. Now yep. it's going to slow me down a half hour. Yeah. Um, so they can use those numbers to kind of make a good judgment call. Cool. Um, that's cool. All right, that's cool. Well, thanks a lot for yeah. your I appreciate it. Yeah, and thank uh, you. I'm going to keep on looking for Squatch. All right. He's out there. <laughs> yeah.